Hey everyone, this is Sylvia from Deviant Reads, and today I'm going to be doing my April haul video. Now, I have about eight to nine books to talk about, so I'm going to try to keep this a little quick. I'll try not to rant too much. Um, so let's get right to it. First book I want to talk about today is Stephen King's It. Now, the remake of the original movie, it's, I believe it's scheduled to come out in September. Now, I have never seen the original movie, and I have never read the book before. Although it's always been on my on my list. Um, I don't know too much about it. The only thing I know is that it takes over it's about a generation of kids and these group of kids are being haunted by a killer clown. Again, I really don't know much about it, but I'm looking forward to reading this. Um chances are I probably won't my goal for the most part is to read it before the movie so I'll probably read it towards the end of August because that's when my summer session ends so I'm, I'm hoping to get to it by then. Second book that I want to talk about is The Handmaiden's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Now um, this was definitely an impulse buy for me. The reason why I picked it up was I saw the trailer for the new TV series that I believe is based on the book and I I think it's going to be playing in HBO or um, what's the other show, what's the other, Hulu? And one of, one of the two. So the second book I want to talk about is The Handmaiden's Tale by Margaret Atwood. This was 100% an impulse buy and the reason why was I saw the trailer for the new TV show and I believe that takes that's going to be playing in HBO. I could be wrong. Um, I'll put it in the description below. So I thought it was interesting. Um, it takes place, I believe it's kind of like the near future. It's supposed to be like a futurist type of book. Like it's supposed to take place in the modern world. But uh, the main premise is that women are no longer allowed to be part of the workforce and so on. So their only job now is to breed. Again, I don't know too much about it except for what I saw in the movie trailer, which in the movie in in the movie trailer in the TV trailer, and I believe in the TV trailer they show uh, them dragging women out of the workforce. I'll put a link down to that trailer if any of you are interested. So the next book I'm kind of upset about and the reason why is because the spines don't the spine does not match the rest of the series that I have and it's really upsetting because I like the the spines of the next three books the first three books and for that book it's winter. Now um I bought this off of Book Depository wasn't paying attention to the description, most likely. It's definitely a lot smaller than the other books that I have. So, just for comparison, it's definitely a lot smaller. And as you can see, the spines don't match. Now, a lot of the books on my shelf, if you haven't realized yet, the series don't match. I generally, I pick up books whenever I see them. Um, but lately I've been trying to get them to match a little. So this is a little upsetting for me because I love the cover. Um, but again, I'm still going to read it. If I end up stopping by somewhere and I see a copy of Winter that's cheap, that matches the rest of my books, I'll, maybe I'll pick it up, but it's not on my list. Other than that, though, I'm really excited to read this book. I've I've been dying to pick it up for the longest time. I love the Lunar Chronicle series. Um, again, this probably stems off of my love of a lot of the Disney stories. I love how Marissa Mayer really kind of incorporated multiple um, Disney stories into one big series. Okay, so this next book, I'm going to give a little backstory of... Um, currently, I'm in university in um, Adrian history. Um, I'm mainly focusing on European history. So lately, because of that, I've, you know, my parents um, immigrated to the United States because of circumstances that was going on in their, in their country, in El Salvador. And you know, growing up, I've heard, this, I've heard stories here and there, but I've never really gone out of my way to done much research about 
the things that are going on in El Salvador. So I figured, and this is just my own person, my own thought process is, if I'm going to be studying the history of other countries, I should probably should probably learn a little more about my heritage and the history of my parents' country. And so this is where this next book comes from, and this is called it's called The Massacre at El Mosote by Mark Danner. Now, this story is supposed to it's supposed to go over one of the most horrific events that happened in El Salvador during their civil war, and it's the the complete and relentless killing of an entire village. Um, in this village, only about a handful of people survived, if that. And um, I thought this was really interesting because this was during a time that my my parents were alive, um, where their parents were dealing with this kind of this kind of environment. And my mother was telling me a story of someone that she knew that survived a situation like this, the complete killing of her village, and how it completely just devastated her life. So this next book. So this next book kind of goes along with uh, the story of El, Ma El Masacre de Mosote. Sorry if there was a change in lighting. Uh, my cat knocked over the, f the lamp that I had behind the camera. So, yeah. Um, anyways, this next book that I want to talk about, it kind of goes on with the same premise as um, the El Masacre de Mosote. And that is Under the Sour Sun. A hunger eye hunger through the eyes of a child and this deals with the biography of a young child and his brothers living in one of the poorest in one of the poorest sections of El Salvador and how they had to live through that and find ways to survive so this next book I'm sure a lot of you guys will know as well and that is Red Rising by Pierce Brown um, I have not read the trilogy um, I'm probably gonna wait until I pick up the next two books to really go really get into the book but I'm, I'm really excited about it it's been um I've been wanting to pick it up for a long time and then I saw it in Barnes and Nobles and I just had to pick it up okay, the ne this next book is also part of a trilogy it's actually the last book of the trilogy so I'll probably be picking this up soon and that is In the Afterlight by Alexander Alexandra Bracken. I've read the first two books of the series and I absolutely love both of them so I'm hoping that I'm gonna love the the um, the ending of this amazing story as well. The eighth book that I'm gonna be talking about today is Three Dark Crowns by Ken Kendare Blake. Now um, I don't know too much of the series the only thing I know is that it's that I think that I know I could be completely wrong about this is that it's three princesses that are competing against each other to to get the crown I believe um okay so it basically has to do with three sisters that are competing for a crown um again I don't know too much about this I haven't seen too many reviews about it so far so I don't know if a lot of people picked it up yet but I'm hoping to get right into this um I absolutely love the cover it's like this um it's really nice smooth cover and like you can kind of you feel the imprint of the words it's really nice I, I like touching it the next book that I'm going to be talking about is an ember in the ashes a novel a novel by Sabah Tahir you guys have definitely you guys have definitely heard about it on booktube I've seen so many videos about it so I'm not going to go too much into the premise of it so I I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews, so either a lot of people love it or a lot of people hate it. I'm hoping I fall into the I love it category because I, abs I absolutely love the cover. And the next book that I'm going to be talking about is not really a book, it's more of a coloring book that I picked up yesterday. Um, I thought it was very interesting, it's a lot different than some of the coloring books that I currently have and I actually like it a lot better. And that's this one, New York Night and Day, and I believe the illustrator is Patricia Moffett. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I absolutely love the illustrations. Okay. 
So I'm hoping to get through this. It's definitely going to take me a while. I, I already started. It's not the best coloring, but um, it's there. So that's pretty much it. I normally don't have this many books um, at the end of the month. Usually I only ever pick up like three or four because I generally tend to cap my um, my budget around at around fifty or sixty dollars at Barnes and Nobles. But I found some really good um, some really good prices in book depository, so I'm probably going to start looking at sites like that to really find a discount so I can get a little more books at a time. But um, you guys definitely will not be seeing a haul video anytime soon. Maybe there's a few books that are coming out that I really need to get or really need to get my hands on pretty soon. Um, but yeah, if there's any any type of videos that you guys would like to see or if there's any improvements that you think that I can make, please leave a comment down below. I would be more than happy to hear to hear about your thoughts. Have a great day, guys. Bye.